My name is Cecil Washington, and I am afraid of going to jail. With the extent, with the pains, with the holes, with the throat, your skin, Cecil. I admit that I'm afraid of going to jail. I want my students, my martial arts students, to be afraid of going to jail. And if my being afraid of going to jail offends you, makes me less of a man, makes me weak in your eyes, then perhaps I am not the martial arts instructor for you. Because you know, we you, can't please you have to go that far, you know. She probably messing with some dudes now. She got some other dude right now. She with he gonna go to jail and da da da. Let me tell y'all something. You gotta stop being so damn scary all the time. Some of these dudes, scary. Just always afraid to go to jail. Scared they gonna get injured. They gonna get hurt. Let me tell you something. If you can't defend your woman's honor, what good are you as a man? We cannot have a society ruled by suckers and lame. But dudes just running around and saying anything they want to and popping off anytime they want to about another man's woman or, or to another man's woman. You can't do that, man. That ain't cool. That's a total violation of the code. And I'm going to tell you something. Uh, perhaps more than defending her honor, it may have a lot to do with defending his own honor. I understand the sentiment of wanting to be able to defend yourself and defend your honor. But there's a limit to that. If you don't have to kill someone or you don't have to shoot someone or you don't have to injure someone to do it, by all means, don't. Taekwondo teaches courtesy, integrity, perseverance, self-control, and indomitable spirit. Maybe not necessarily in that order at all schools, but courtesy is a big one. If you can stop a conflict with courtesy, I think you should stop it with courtesy. I also think that you should be afraid of being injured. Because if you're injured in a fight, you can get an injury that can last for the rest of your life. Let me tell you a story. I got into a fight one time because someone was dissing me and I was a kid and they got punched me in the face. Now, according to all accounts, including my own, I technically won the fight right so i won the fight and i had my honor my jaw hurt for 10 years afterwards 10 years afterwards not constant pain mind you whenever it would rain my jaw would hurt for about a year after that if i ate an apple my jaw would hurt after that fight my mother gave me apples. So she said, every time I eat it, it took me a while to catch on. She's like, yeah, I want you to remember what's going to happen to you. You keep going out there getting in those fights. And it really was an unnecessary fight. I could have let it go. But it's my honor. You know. My honor. And here's a tip, gentlemen. If you're with a woman who thinks that you have to fight Every time somebody tries to insult or, you know, somebody is inappropriate towards her and she thinks that means that you have to give them a beat down. I'm going to tell you now, I don't think you should be in that relationship. If you've already married her, I wish you the best of luck. I don't think you should be in that relationship. And if you think that I don't know what I'm talking about, just look at this. I had a situation, my instincts, this was a long time ago, my instincts told me to let it go, and I let it go, and then I asked her about it, and she said, if you had done what you were thinking about doing, and I'm not going to say what I was thinking about doing, lest I be charged for something that happened remotely in the past, because I'm thinking about something, you know how the world is today, she said that would have been the stupidest thing that you could have done, I would have thought you were an idiot, and I would have think that you were throwing your life away for something that's really not worth it, and that was dumb, okay? So, uh, I find it funny, and this is just in general, okay? Now, I mean no disrespect towards Willie D. I feel like I can disagree with your idea without not liking you, okay? 
A lot of times people tell men, and especially young men, that they need to go and they need to fight and they need to do this and they do that. A lot of these tend to be people who are above combat age. I am well above combat age. These are people who probably have not been in the military. I don't know if Willie D's been in the military or not. So I'm just I'm just saying in general. A lot of people who are not expected to fight on the front lines or would not really be expected, they've either aged out or they're just not in a social standing to be a warrior, for lack of a better term. They love to tell young men how they should be fighting. They do. I don't know what it is. Well, let me tell you as someone who has been expected to fight, because I was a Marine Reservist at one point, and because I'm a big black guy, a lot of times if something happens, people still expect me to do something about it, even as old as I am. No. If you don't have to fight, don't. But if you have to fight, do. But you don't always have to fight. It's like I used to tell people when I was more combative. You can't talk your way out of everything. You can't. You can't talk your way out of everything. You can't fight your way out of everything either. Like the Bible says, there is a time and place for everything under the sun. And in my opinion, there's also a time to be afraid of going to jail. So what if that makes you a sucker? So what if that makes you a lame? You know what that will make you? Not. Especially if you learn appropriate use of force and you use your techniques appropriately, it won't make you a convict. So thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please share this with people like to talk, talk, talk about the martial arts. Help me hit a thousand subscribers by the end of this year. And peace.